Alright folks, today we're cooking this amazing dish called Coq au Vin. So stay tuned. It's time to grill. Welcome back to the 0815 Barbecue International channel. Glad you're joining us again. Let's get started with chopping up the veggies. For today's recipe we will need carrots, onions, garlic, bacon and of course chicken or a guinea fowl or simply a cock if you can get one. Sounds strange but cock over is the French national dish and it's technically translated into cock in wine which means that in the early uh, time of French cuisine uh, people are cooking up everywhere their cocks inside their wines. So today we are using a guinea fowl but of course a whole chicken will also do a great job here today. The preparation seems to be a little bit dirty. You have to remove the spine. You can just take a larger knife and some simple hits on the right spot and you're done with the spine. And then we are cutting the whole uh, chicken or the guinea fowl into quarters. You can move the breastbone if you like. That's uh, all I have to do for the preparation. Then we're seasoning this one with salt and pepper. Best would be to do this seasoning from all sides. Maybe all the ingredients now were really quick. So if you want to recreate this dish at home, make sure to check the video description. We have the whole list of ingredients with uh, measurements and everything in there. While I am preparing the poultry pieces today, I have already set up a starting chimney full of charcoal briquettes. And we are uh, cooking this one today in my Landman Dutch oven inside my Landman charcoal kettle. Just place it onto the embers and add some olive oil. Then you can start with the bacon. It's the goal to get more fat into the cast iron pot or your camp oven, whatever your name uh, of that might be. And as soon as the bacon starts to get crispy, take it out. We now have a nice amount of fat in there, followed by a small amount of butter. Then you can start with the meat. We are placing the pieces of poultry inside the butter and oil and bacon fat mixture. And we are searing this inside this uh, for about six to eight minutes per side. The result now is a nice mixture of fat and the drippings from the poultry. Really, really full of flavor. Then add onions, garlic and carrots. The onions will start to add some more liquid as well. So you now have a good amount of liquid in there. So about let that simmer for 10 minutes until it has reduced to one third. Make sure to start stirring, otherwise you won't see how much the reduction process is uh, running and how good it's going on. And after that, we are adding tomato paste. This is important for the flavor. I do this a lot of times for sauces and the heat in the oven is now rather high. Make sure to keep stirring, but you can see uh, how the flavors are coming out now. The color is amazing. Keep stirring. Now it depends a little bit on where you are in France. A local wine will uh, do a good job here. So we're using this one today. Just add a decent amount of wine, wine to the tomato stuff and keep on stirring. In the meantime, I have already prepared a little bundle of rosemary and fresh thyme, which should go in there too. And of course the bacon. The bundle has the big advantage so it uh, will stay together for the whole cooking process and it's much easier to get it out later. Then some bay leaves, some more wine if you have the feeling that there's less liquid inside the oven and then place back the chicken or poultry pieces into this sauce. Now cover it completely with the rest of the bottle of red wine. We are using a whole bottle of red wine for this dish today. Put on the lid 
some charcoal on top and let that cook for 40, uh, 35, I'm sorry, till 40 minutes. After 20 minutes, you can have a look and maybe just flip them. And then set back the lid. And in the meantime, it's time to, for the final ingredient. Mushrooms. We are using brown mushrooms today. You can use any mushroom you like. I'm just uh, cutting these into quarters, nothing fancy here. Then open up the Dutch oven again and place the mushrooms inside that. Make sure to get them a little bit into the sauce under the pieces of chicken. You don't need the lid anymore for that dish and just let that sit in there and let that simmer for approximately 15 minutes with an open lid. We have already taken out the rosemary and thyme bundle. If you see any bay leaves, you can just take them out too. Sometimes I'm a little bit scared if YouTube would be able to transport the smell to you, you won't believe how cool that is. Now take it out and of course, as always, I'm gonna give this a shot right now. We're plating it up, one piece of that here is a bay leaf, you can skip that. Add some of that wonderful sauce. The sauce is killer stuff, I promise. Delicious. Can't wait to hear what you think about my interpretation of the French national dish coq au vin inside my Dutch oven. Amazing. I would really appreciate if you could leave me a thumb up and comment and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. You could also visit my fan pages, you'll find me everywhere. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm out. See you.